Earlier this week, Bernalillo County resident George Richmond warned he'd try to recall County Treasurer Manny Ortiz if he did not listen to commissioners. Now, some might argue he is listening, but now that man says it doesn't matter. News 13's Chris McKee is here with more. Crystal County resident George Richmond says he wants to see Manny Ortiz out of office immediately. It could be a totally different kind of election for Bernalillo County Treasurer Manny Ortiz. We just need better people to do a better job. A county resident, George Richmond, says he'll now spearhead an effort to get Ortiz's name on a recall election ballot. Mr. Ortiz has taken undue risk and lost money. Richmond is describing Ortiz's recent investments with Bernalillo County money that's causing problems. Earlier this year, Ortiz took $70 million, most of the county's cash on hand, and sank it into bonds, something he defended in September. If you keep your money in the bank, you don't make too much money interest. But that money is still tied up and can't be pulled without taking a loss. Now County Manager Tom Zadunek says the county needs to make about 20 to 25 million dollars in cuts and it means some people could lose their jobs. The county has also delayed purchase of a new fire engine, deputy patrol rigs, road and building projects and more. Richmond says it's upsetting to hear. When the guy, the treasurer, Mr. Ortiz, makes calculated bets that have gone wrong, to hurt the taxpayers and investors in the county. I just feel action is necessary. He says he'll begin the recall attempt Monday, which starts with filing a petition in district court. The court will determine the petition is valid or invalid, as the case may be. If that happens, Richmond will need support from people who voted in the November 2012 election. I need 45,596 valid signatures. Richmond believes it's an uphill battle he can win, though. Right now, I am a team of one people, one person, but I suspect there'll be more people coming out. And it's just a matter of saying, I need your help. Richmond will have to prove Ortiz committed wrongdoing or broke his oath of office in order to get the petition approved by district court. Without approval, he cannot legally gather signatures. We reached out to Ortiz for comment tonight, but we have not heard back from him. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. Now, Bernalillo County commissioners will also hold a special meeting tomorrow to vote of no confidence in Ortiz. The vote is only symbolic and won't change Ortiz's job status. State